Hello, everybody. This is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex, and here is Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Good morning. Good morning. Now it's uh, 6 p.m. at the moment, uh, but somewhere is morning, uh, definitely, right? Yes. <laughs> I just landed uh, in Germany, in Munich, like eight hours ago, and I already spent whole day um, shopping in a show, a uh, military antique show here, and uh, I found some really nice items, and um, I met you, so uh, let's show your items, your finds on this show, and uh, can you tell us? A little bit, yes. Okay, so, in your trunk, what do you have? Is it for paper? For pepper? No, I think it's uh, for salt or... Um, yeah, pepper. Food. Yeah, salt or pepper. Yeah. So that's nice. That's cool. This is, um, but originally, originally this is a grenade. Hand grenade. Yes, hand grenade. But they refurbished it. It <coughs> looks cute. So. And this is uh, from a rifle grenade. Uh huh. From Second World War, German. It's also something. Yes. Yeah. But I don't know for what. Oh, that's nice. That's interesting. You there is something inside. Oh, some more grenade stuff. This is a box for uh, mashed potato grenades. And what is inside? Oh, wow. Look at that. Is it empty or not? Yes, it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I just set it for video and looks like somebody fill it with uh, like a Panaplex or something, I don't know how to call it, uh, like a construction form. And wow, some really interesting and uh, rare pieces here. And uh, this is a, like a splinter. Yeah, uh, a thick like, fragmentation ring. Yeah, a fragmentation and ring. This is a army model. Yeah. Which is way more rare to find than the SS. Wow. And more expensive. Normally SS is more expensive. Mm -hmm. But in this case... That's cool. I, 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 I saw it. I saw it in a... Um, Maybe in a video with me before? Uh, no, I, I had few of them uh, in Russia in uh, dug up a, condition. Uh, SS model. This is SS model without yeah. that, that stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. And you also found it here. Yes. Full empty. Uh -huh. There's only some paint inside. Yeah. And how much is it? Something like 500 euros, maybe. Yeah, so it's an inert uh, grenade. And how many of them? One, two, three, four. And five, six, some seven. only sticks. Okay, for late ones. Yeah. And you can see, like, uh, we can compare late one and early one. Uh, there are, like, difference. Uh, That's cool. the... cool. This is a ceramic ring, and uh, you have to pull it and then uh, throw the grenade. Then they simplified it and uh, made the ring on the top of grenade, and uh, this is just a solid piece of uh, wood. So this is the main difference. So nice. It's like whole collection of uh, these items. That's, that's cool. What is more expensive, uh, late, later, late one or early one? Like normally early one, right? The price is approximately the same, okay. but you have the very early one with the inscription of the top uh, and the white inscription around. Uh -huh. They are more round. I think they are more expensive. Yeah, I have one uh, with description here. It's like uh, before using... Uh, uh, it takes a detonator inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and actually uh, the box is pretty expensive and pretty rare also mm, uh ju just ju yeah just box in itself with what, what uh, all mean? correct uh what markings. is more rare is the rack inside oh yeah seller said it's also include but he forgot it at home uh -huh. and i will get it later but it actually um it's possible to find like a rack uh yeah, but be will because you you can find it like from the ground, uh, yeah. like relic condition, and usually it's uh, preserved better than uh, just a box. And you can find maybe yeah. 20, 30, 50 of the boxes and one of the racks. Oh, cool. Uh, but this one is really impressive. I like it. This is a Gottmitun's belt buckle and belt. What is a belt? It's like a parade one or. I don't it's know a what kind, the kind of... it is for, uh -huh. but um, I think maybe some SA or... Yeah, political. 
and this is a full complete of uh, equipment with portopy but it has been painted i think this is new painted uh -huh. and you see the brownish red yeah patina mm -hmm. and i found several of them or well, maybe two or three mm -hmm. and they always had this patina okay yeah, it's self-made long time ago but it's kind of winter camo no it's ss, SS? so it's uh, oh. for the leibstandarte uh -huh. or it is for the musicians okay Did you see SS stamps and the other stuff on the leather? No, there's only on. The problem is the condition of the belt. So maybe it was here mm -hmm. or it was inside, but the condition is yeah. not. But, anyways, but nice looking piece. It's aluminium, mm -hmm. so it's the early one. And on army you will have the green paint. Yeah. And here you have the silver anodizing, so it's for an aluminium SS bucket. Also interesting, I never saw one before. This is a late type, the model 1943. Yeah, the difference but difference in uh, is, this horse, it's usually like a tongue here. It's simplified yeah. production. Mm -hmm. But what is interesting, normally on the late one you have a black and yeah the brown is pre raw i i never saw one yeah so it's interesting in field equipment you can find unusual items sometimes especially in late war pieces oh nice More buckets. there is a luftwaffe buckle we can see aluminum one and another one is it early uh, like a shrimp type, you can see the drop difference. Tail. Yeah, drop tail or shrimp. Uh, you can see the difference because it's like a more, how to say it, like banded. Uh, this one is also a normal period, and this is just a got me tones. So, about this one, I gotta ask price. A few more belts, and uh, this one looks more bronze than others and yeah makes sense it's lba it's luftwaffe one luftwaffe one and it should be um hidden stitching um in this this part regular belt has a uh, stitch like that it's like from here to here you can see it from both uh, sides but luftwaffe has stitched only from one side from the front side you cannot see it so it's kind of useless work from my, from my opinion but it looks nice uh, and you can uh, say that this one is luftwaffe like from the distance and that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and is there uh, any unit mark you did check? I think not on this one. Okay. Flak. Flak. Like it's an anti-aircraft. Anti-aircraft regiment. So this. Here we also can see some more stuff. Couple more belts. And a few. Hmm. This is a cavalry, right? Yes. Cavalry or reconnaissance. Yeah. And this one also. Are you going to add eagles? Here? No, I will sell it as they are. Yeah, how much is it? It will be something like 750 euros. It's like around uh, 83, ah, 8 euros. So it's going to be around 800 bucks, like 830. Oh, it's a shoulder board for. Okay. Looks nice. But it's private production. Mm -hmm. So it's not. Not a factory, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Looks nice, but uh, I prefer like metal items uh, in my collection because uh, close items is not uh, my main point of uh, interest. Oh, actually, nice, nice eagle here. Uh, also, pretty hard to find. It's like and harder and harder. No, you can find them from time to time. Yeah, but they are normally made from nickel silver. Yeah, and this one is made from copper. You can see it on some of the. Yeah, it's a... And also, the pins are with a mm -hmm. um, base and yeah, that's nice, interesting. Also nice condition. Yeah, it should look cool. 
So, what else do you have? Maybe the oh, Imperial cool. duck cap. Uh -huh. SMS, did you Google? Um, no. Yeah? Brandenburg. 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 That's cool. And if you see on the screen the pictures of Brandenburg, we just Googled it for you guys. This one is also cool. It will go to my collection. Okay. It's a piece of um, SS cuff title mm -hmm. with two Panzer skulls. Nice. Nice. It's not normal, but. You also bought it here? Yes. Cool. It was not expensive, but. 150? Yes. Wow, you got lucky. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> this one was expensive. It's. Oh. That's Imperial Badge. It's nice and fancy. Uh, red box. Oh wow, that's cool. How much it was? It was 600 euros. This is like stone mint condition or almost mint in good patina. Can you turn it around? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's also nice from this side. That's cool. So, deal. Can you tell us about this group? It's a small grouping of a member of the Leibstandarte. Some of his post-war badges and wartime and from the PIAC organization. It's also post-war. Mm -hmm. But his color tabs from the NCO grade and then from the officer grade. The officer cuff title in mint condition and a pair of shoulder boards with only one um, of the small ciphers for mm -hmm. the Leibstandarte. One it's, is missing, yeah. but I have one in my collection. Oh, that's nice. It's, is it also for your collection? Um, I will keep the shoulder boards and maybe the eagle. The rest I will sell. So it's also original? And, yes, yes. Because yeah. yeah. These items is not my uh, main point of interest because uh, I really like like metal items like daggers and uh, uh, insignia and all that stuff. So that is why I'm, it's always very interesting to ask uh, other people about their finds uh, if they find something like close made. This eagle is also um, a little bit um, different than most, mm -hmm. but it's the third one I have. Okay. And also, the other two I had came from Leibstandarte grouping. Mm -hmm. And one was with picture, and you see clearly he was wearing this type of eagle. How it usually happened? When, like a grouping from like one person, or it's yeah. yes. assembled? No, it was uh, found together. Oh, crazy. So somebody just uh, saved items of his like grandfather or something? Maybe, or maybe of himself. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, but it's like a great decision to take off all uh, SS insignia and put it somewhere, like yeah, hide it somewhere maybe, after the war. Maybe use the jacket for work or whatever. Yeah. I personally uh, wouldn't like to use like SS uh, jacket for work after <laughs> after war periods. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, a dangerous condition. Right. Yeah, but normally they m make them um, black or dark blue and use them for work. Oh, ah, okay. So they have not much material, and mm -hmm. if you have nothing, you are happy to have a jacket. Exactly. Uh, so that's really nice finds. I think, uh, like, my best for uh, hand grenades. You guys tell us in comment section because we are super tired <laughs> from this day. Maybe it was like a uh, super sleepy interview, but anyway. Oh wow. That's nice. What are you looking for? Knife. Knife? I didn't buy any knives um, at this show today, so I want to buy some knives tomorrow. Nice American one. Mm, half knife. Maybe you see what it is? Oh wow, yeah. Candle mm, SS. holder. Yeah. Yule Leuchter. Oh, tell us, by the way, about the tradition, because uh, many people saw it, but uh, not too many people 
knows why they produce it. Uh, it was presented to SS member by Himmler for the Nordic Christmas. It was not at Christmas, it was at the 21st of December when the time is from winter time to spring time and the days got longer. Yeah. So that's, that's nice. Old German or Germanic tradition. And how much is it? Something like 1700. 1700 is like really... I remember times when it was two or three hundred euros. And how many of them um, has been produced? I don't know. I mean like hundred thousands or probably okay but how many are saved yeah yeah that's true is there any stamps or yes from Allah Muni mm -hmm. or Dachau yeah Allah was uh, like a most famous and most uh... it was a company from Himmler only for the SS they produce and sell it to SS members but as I'm right they make never been a profit with this company. So did they, did they? They pay more for the company than they get out of the company. Uh -huh. So it was not profitable. No, but uh, um, but items. Uh, but they made they it did. for. Yeah, for. It was the company of Himmler. And yeah. Himmler was one of the highest, so. Maybe they don't care. All that stuff Daniel find uh, just like a few hours ago and that's super nice actually. Uh, my favorite is uh, like grenade um, box. Yeah, because uh, I usually uh, just, I, I just cannot buy it here because uh, it's pretty hard to deliver it to United States or other country, even if it's uh, like inert, even if, in, um, if it's empty, uh, you can still get some questions uh, on the customs. So, but uh, that's really nice. And it makes display very good looking uh, with uh, mannequin, especially. And a few more uh, items also I really enjoy and like belt buckles are nice and uh, this stuff is <laughs> like my favorite that's cute that's cool it's also grenade but uh, who cares you can just use it in a kitchen so that's that's nice so thank you very much for uh, another interview and I was really glad to see you and um, we are waiting for your comments uh, guys let us know um, in comment section what item you prefer what you item you like better it was super sleepy interview <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are tired <laughs> yeah okay thank you very much and see you. you real soon After the show, during the dinner, I met uh, my two subscribers. Uh, where are you guys from? From Germany. Yeah. Both guys from Germany and they uh, brought some stuff for the show. And uh, I asked, maybe I can buy uh, something because I always open for business also during the, <laughs> during the dinner. Uh, so now we have beers and um, we are trading uh, some stuff. This is my pick. I uh, want to buy this small uh, bag with uh, small interesting pieces uh, just for fun and a couple more uh, rare iron crosses with uh, screw backs and uh, two iron crosses uh, second class and one more first class also with uh, 1939 also army um, badges I picked like five um, this is a uh, other items that maybe I will go through them next time but this is my first pick and uh, this nice algae mine also Osman with a stamp that's cool I probably gonna publish it uh, in my telegram channel so uh, you can see it closer and uh, also in the rest uh, guys has like uh, all that stuff it was very interesting to go through uh, and this metal also quite rare this is a uh, sport badge essay um, in original box, which is nice. So thank you guys for business, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> oh, and knives.
yeah, this is the second part of, part of our deal. <laughs>